This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Back to the dormitory! When I push open the heavy glass doors, I find the lobby in utter silence. Oh, everyone is so weird in this, Marty. Even Sachi is weird, but at least she's very sweet. Exchanging my outdoor use shoes for the slippers I use in my room, I reach for the board hanging above the shoe racks and flip the magnetic name tag reading in Kazumi Yuji from out to in. A glance at the other name tags reveals that Sakaki, Sachi, and Amine are all in, but there's no one in the lobby. They're probably shut up in their rooms doing homework. Hmm, hold on. There wasn't any homework assigned today, which would mean that my hypothesis just now can't be accurate. Then what? When students shut themselves up in their rooms, homework and masturbation are the only things that come to mind. Wow, really? That's it. They're not like, you know, reading novels or playing their Game Boy. No, they're masturbating. Okay, wow. Although I gave the matter a little thought, I don't plan on going around and confirming it in my new conjecture. Yeah, that would be good. It's just a guess, and no matter what sort of vile filth they're getting off to, that's their prerogative. In this case, pretending not to notice would be the kinder thing. Wow, this guy's weird. Having reached that conclusion, I reach out to the door of my room, but... In doing so, I notice that the bit of the tape I stuck on my door as a seal has been ripped off. Someone's in the room. I, oh boy, is Yumiko trying to kill us? <laughs> Backing away from the door for a moment, I quickly press, I quickly press, quietly press my ear against the wall, but I can't hear any noises from inside. It doesn't seem like the, a typhoon is laying waste to the room in my absence, but either way, if it's someone stupid enough to miss the tape, no need to be too careful. I forcefully swing open the door to my room. Don't move! Why are you in my room in your underwear? <laughs> what the heck? What are you doing in here? Who called me a stripper? It's not my birthday. You've got the wrong room. What the heck? <laughs> oh, no. Why? I know fan service, but why? Wait, it's just Amine. Why are you in my room? Well, that's going to stop! This ain't your room, lady! Y you crazy! Amine points to a large overnight bag lying on the floor, presumably containing her spare clothes. <sighs> oh, no. What? Okay. Well, that's gonna stop! Why are you half naked? Why are you changing clothes in my room? <laughs> Get out! You've got your own room, right? Oh, this is so uncomfortable. When I was a grade schooler, I had friends who'd just throw their bags by the door after school so they could get back outside faster. Well, normally I make the CGs the thumbnails. I am not making this the thumbnail. I guess this one's brain works on the same level. No, okay. I'll let you finish changing this one time because I don't want to throw you out of the room in your underwear. But after that, you are not allowed in my room ever again. Hmm, fine, I suppose. No, I'm not going to watch you change. I'll come in whether you invite me or not. It's my room. I walk into the room, hold a glass under the faucet and at the sink and fill it with tap water. You know it. Wow, as you do. <laughs> hmm? What? I swig down tepid water from the glass. Don't show me this again. I don't want to see this. Actually, what? Your sentence is missing both a verb and an object. I am not! This school is weird. I'm not a normal man, and you were the one who barged into my room! If you don't want me to be, if you don't want to be seen, how about being frank about it and telling me to get out? Mm, no, no, you should. You should not be blatantly going around half naked. Or fully naked. Want me to stick a 20 in your panties? Wow. Well, you're kind of acting like one. If you say so, you seem pretty used to this. Only this girl would go into the one guy's room, get changed, and then get mad at the guy coming back into his room and getting mad. <sighs> if you didn't want to be seen, you should have said so from the start. I'll be outside. Call me when you're done changing. 
<laughs> they conveniently don't fit, yeah. What a troublesome woman. What do you want from me? I'm not reading that. Returning my empty glass to the sink, I turn my back on Amine for the moment. Breaking into my room as she pleases, she throws her obobs around as she pleases, and then gets pissed at me as she pleases. I don't have any real obligation to be considerate of someone like that, but, well, this kind of thoughtfulness is what keeps society moving smoothly. What? No. What? I would hope if he had a sister, he wasn't walking in on her half naked. Hmm. Well, I did have one. Past tense? She's dead. Ooh. Tragic backstory. It's been years. Not a problem. What? Kazuki. Kazuki? I know. Kind of a weird name for a girl. It's actually written with the characters for one and princess. Oh boy. Why do you ask? Why are we talking amicably? Kick her out of the room. I see. My sister is a topic I'd prefer to avoid as much as possible. That's understandable. Not because it's too painful to remember her death or anything sentimental like that. I just don't want to get in a heavy mood for no reason. Oh. Maybe Amine picked up on my reactions since she doesn't ask about anything else about the subject. Although she's a troublesome, selfish woman, I can honestly appreciate that part of her. That also doesn't fit. I wasn't really waiting. You need new clothes. Hmm. Now that I look, Amine's wearing a pointlessly skimpy outfit. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Even if it is summer, that is a bit over the top. Too much exposure. Your obobs are barely staying in that vein. <laughs> yes, exactly. Guess that's one opinion you're gonna have. A waste of resources. Hmm, I wonder why. Also, are the people thrown in the freebies all older guys? Probably. Ugh. This one's trying to disrupt the economy of the shopping district via her obobs? Nothing at all. If you're done, hurry up and go. The dirty old men of the shopping district are clutching their 20s in anticipation. I'm not going with you. As she speaks, Amine grabs my arm like a border patrol agent seizing an illegal immigrant from Mexico. Wow! That is a very harsh simile. What are you trying to pull? Get off. You've got a lot of nerve asking me to go shopping with you after you were changing in your underwear in my room. And you literally broke into it. <laughs> Why do I have to come? Oh, I am, am I? Oh, uh, what the heck? <laughs> I wouldn't say racist, just very um, racially insensitive. <laughs> Even if you don't rope me into this, with that huge body, 10 kilos shouldn't be an issue. Or so I thought, but... Curtis, <laughs> but courteously didn't put into words. We are dealing with a woman here, technically speaking. He's he's a bit he's a bit of a womanizer. In the first place, she's only large for a woman. I'm eight or nine centimeters taller. I guess Amine's gotten sick of me staring at her silently, so she jerks me closer by the arm she's grasping. Um, no, that is not how that happened. You you're acting like you did me a. <laughs> <laughs> this is like in that Donald Duck comic where, like, Neighbor Jones, like, basically sold Donald's car and then, like, acted like he did Donald a favor. <laughs> this is, like, the same mentality. <laughs> I don't remember asking to see her obobs. This woman's logic is completely incoherent. No. Get out of my room! If you think a flash of your obobs will make any man do your bidding, you've got another thing coming. Well, 
力仕事は全部私に回ってきたのよ。No. かわいそうだと思うよ。No, <笑> When you've got a physique like that, I think it's probably inevitable. これからは電球が切れても、ユージ君がいれば安心だね。<笑>そんじゃ行こうか。As she speaks, Amine entwines herself around my arm, pushing her famous obobs onto me. Okay, this, this girl's off. I'm not. She's not the worst. <laughs> she's still not as bad as Murderer Chick, but hey. That doesn't apply unless we have sex, which is not happening. Um. The fact that I just spent a good second thinking about the anti helicopter mines is, frankly, completely ridiculous. But the world has been seeming like an extremely ridiculous place recently. No point getting too down on myself. Fine, you just need me to carry the rice, right? So, 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 Clearly, this guy's not read the Bible at all. Just a joke. Let's get going already. Let go of my arm. I don't need you cleaning all over me. It's stifling. She's just moving farther and farther down the worst girl list. Wow. She, uh, we talked about Yuji being a bit of a pervert at the beginning for kind of coming on to Sachi, but Amine's way more perverted. <laughs> Don't press your nose against me and snuffle. You're not a dog. <laughs> Did we just dope slap her? <laughs> Honestly, carrying some rice isn't really that big of a deal, but if I had agreed from the start to save myself the effort of resistance, it's easy to see that she'd take that as a license to push increasingly unreasonable requests on me. If you're smart, you start rejecting people's requests at 80% of your real tolerance level. And now we're going shopping. Yeah, Clanad is... Yeah, Marty. Clanad is rated T. This game is rated M. And apparently, believe it or not, Marty, this is toned down from what the actual release is. Because I'm playing the Steam version. Steam version apparently took out a lot of, like, the raunchiest material. What is up with my secondary monitor? It keeps cutting in and out. That's weird. Women's shopping methods can be broken down into two patterns. Type A throws anything that catches her eye into her cart, whether or not she has any need for it. Type B deliberates endlessly over cost efficiency even when she has a pressing need and ends up buying nothing. My impression of the woman named Amine, probably influenced by her large build, was that she was likely the careless sort who would follow the former pattern. But apparently I'm not much of a judge of character. I thought it was going to be M not because of, like, si well, I because I, I know they removed the sex scenes and the nudity from the, the Steam release. I thought that most of the M rating was going to come from violence. Because, again, I'm basing this off of the Doki Doki mod that I've seen, which had a lot of violence in it. The violence is probably coming. What? You're still buying? If you needed vegetables, why didn't you get them at the supermarket just now? I understand in theory that specialty shops are better at gen than general retailers, but as the one being dragged around, changing stores this rapidly is a serious nuisance. Because Amine mentioned that she wanted to buy Umon tea. I'd reached out for a 2-liter 158 yen bottle at the supermarket, only to have her slap my hand firmly away. In the woman's own words, don't buy that here. You get tea packets at the drugstore and you can make 52 liters for 480 yen. And so I ended up having to tag along to the drugstore as well. Hey, she's she being thrifty. I like that. Oh no. Oh, Amane-chan, irashai. Kyou mo kawaii ne. Desho. Ne, okusan ni naisho de omake shite yo. You're the worst, Amane. <laughs> Amane-chan ni wa kanane na. Wow. Yosh. Sonja oji-san, ichigo no pack o omake shite yo ga na. No, 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 Marty. She's all. Yumiko has only tried to murder me. She hasn't actually succeeded in stabbing me yet. I'm talking about, like, actual violence with people, like, actually getting the crap beaten out of them. Yeah! Oh, you are. Amane, you are the worst kind of girl, aren't you? Amane-chan's service is not going to be a good thing. Thank you. 
マキナが大好きなのよねああそういや今日はマキボーは一緒じゃねえんだなどうしたいあああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああ Growling the dirty old green grocer sizes me up with a blatant scowl on his face. Nandi, Aitza! Kini rane metsuki ste yagar ne? Punch the girl to Easter Island, yeah. Who said Amine was best girl? <laughs> Thus far, she's been terrible. So, kira wa nai de yatte yo. Watashi no ototo nan da kara. Oh, yeah, right. Ototo? Nandi, ototo ka ya? That's a lie. Or you're Mata Tiki, Amani Changa, Rukudemo, Otoko, to Skiate, Rugada, Mutte, oh, oh, Jisang, Hyakati, Chimate. I'm not sure what's so funny, but the green grocer cackles heartily as he stares into my face. I was it. Mamai, what? Some, I know some people like the sexy flirty girls. Yuji. Oh, so, Kayujika, he, Namai Janeka. There is no resemblance between the two of us. <laughs> That's right. This green grocer is creepy. <laughs> Thank you. I smile and lower my head in a slight bow, prompting the old man to shout, What? You can smile after all? in an even louder voice. Well, at the very least, I am digging the music, I'm digging the graphics, and I am digging the animations. Of course. Thank you. Also, some of the character interactions are pretty funny. I can't believe it. I'm, I can't believe I'm actually at the point where the Sundere is one of the best girls. I truly can't believe that. It's also hard to judge Makina because, like, she's an eight-year-old. Huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> That's because it is! <laughs> You're strangely perceptive at times. Fake smiles are an expression of consideration for others. You want me to scowl and said? <laughs> oh, sure. Some feet are on these lines, perhaps. Yeah. Literally, Sundere and Maid Girl. They're the best. I can't believe it. I was taught that children's smiles and women's tears are weapons. This is the first time my own emotional front was penetrated like this. <laughs> Secret principal. Even the principal's not that great anymore because she's being completely incompetent at her job. I may have under been underestimating this woman. I was born with this face. Stop bringing up my sister. My sister was... Yeah, well, in her case, she always had this sleepy expression. Why bring up my sister there? More importantly, are we finished with the shopping yet? The tofu store? I'm not touching that with a 10 foot pole. We're still not done. Just carrying rice. So I'd been promised when I agreed to this shopping expedition, but in the end, I ended up following her around for a good two hours. She's as she speaks, Amine is packing away the ingredients she purchased, for some reason, into my refrigerator! Well, that's what little girls are like. It's not a problem, but mind if I ask you something? Why are you putting that stuff into the fridge in my room? <laughs> Yeah, big boy gets big fridge. What about it? That's not an answer to the question. Oh, 
Apparently there's a recommended route in, uh, of an order to do each girl in. Really? I don't even know if I'm doing all the routes. There, if, if the Machina route is actually a dating route, I don't want to do that one. That would be incredibly uncomfortable. I also don't particularly want to date Amine or Yumiko. They're also terrible. <laughs> Granted, I don't know if the roots are actually date all dating roots, but I don't know. That's from the pack that the old man at the green grocers gave to me. I would have no patience with this woman. It's not that I particularly care about her using the fridge, but her barging in here every time she needs to get something would be a pain in the ass. So She's the kind of girl I would worry about slipping, like, drugs or something into the dinner. I've already cooked rice, and I've got canned food for the side dishes, so I'll pass. You can cook rice on the stove, you know. Using that over there, I point toward a cylindrical mess kit style rice cooker made of aluminum, currently towering over the IH cooking heater in my kitchen. <laughs> IH heaters can ma can't quite manage aluminum, so I've been using a gasoline stove I had with me instead. Well, I mean, if he was living in the woods earlier, then yeah. It's only normal for a man to have a stove or two. Normal for a man is probably an overstatement, but it's standard equipment for a backpacker, at least. Ideally, you want one that can use the unleaded gasoline you can get from gas stations. I'm watching everything she does then. No, I'll pass. Makina would be there, wouldn't she? Exactly. I think it'd be better if I wasn't there. It's not going to happen that fast. And if I go out of my way to eat quietly, she'll end up feeling even more uncomfortable. I'll pass after all. You're telling me to become friends with her in exchange for food? Well, if she's in a situation where everybody is like 10 years older than her, and there's no one her age, that makes sense. I don't have anything against her, and I don't want to be on hostile terms, so I'll try to talk to her, but I'm not going to guarantee that it's going to improve things. My personality being what it is. Picking up on the words I've left unspoken, Amine answers, that's good enough, with a smile. As soon as the words are out of her mouth, she briskly walks out the door, but... Ah, uh, hey wait! You forgot! The overnight bag packed with her spare clothes is still lying in the center of the room. That woman, she isn't planning to change in my room again, is she? I would just kick it out the door. More to the point, I'm sure I locked this door when I left this morning. How did she even get in here? There aren't any signs of damage up to the lock, and I can't imagine she's got a secret talent for lock picking. Does that mean she has a spare key or something? Suo Amine. Creatures known as large women are mostly careless, but weirdly attentive to certain details. They possess unusual intuition as well as pointlessly large obobs. And on the whole, deserve to be handled with caution. Wow, dude! 